Hello, this is Mr. Beck. This is part 13 in a series on building a 3D game in the Blender. This is an optional video. This is not required, but a lot of students have asked me, Mr. Beck, how do I create different types of ammunition? How do I make my projectiles do different things? Well, what we've got here is I'll just play it once. If I hit P, okay, um, I click the mouse and it launches a certain projectile in that direction, right? I've added a, now a keyboard sensor. I'm going to hit the space bar. This projectile is going to collide with the plane hopefully. And when it does collide with the plane, it will disappear and uh, four other objects will be added to the scene with uh, velocity. So it, it appears that it explodes. Watch. Space bar. Boom. All right. And so when that particular object collides with the plane, it disappears and four other objects are then added at the collision point that have sort of an explosion velocity. So how do we do that? Well, Let's take a look. Let's start uh, with the plane, okay? Here's our plane, and this is what's going to be listening for a collision right now. And I've got um, under our logic buttons here, okay, the plane is now listening for a collision, and it's looking for anything that collides with it that has a property ammo 1 tied to it. If you followed along with uh, the scoring up to this point, you should be familiar with how properties work. And anytime something, uh, anytime a mesh that has... Uh, the property ammo one collides with the plane. There's an AND gate, and it's simply going to send a message to sphere 001, and the message is splode. Now you can make that subject anything you want. I just thought splode was appropriate. Um, okay, so let's go and see what happens now. So we've got a collision that sends a message, and I've got two meshes now that are that are basically projectiles here. This one. Okay, our frustrated falcon here is, uh, I guess the important thing about this is it's mesh point zero one one. Okay, and this is, I added a new one now. Okay, and it's just a sphere. You can add anything you'd like. This is sphere.001. And this is the object that's going to be listening for our message, right? So um, what I did was I added a sensor, and it's a message sensor, and it's listening for the message splode. Okay, and when it receives that message, it's going to do five things. Okay, five AND gates, and it's basically just going to add five objects. Take a look at that. All right, um, we've got uh, linear velocity kind of configured. Instead of just filling in X or Y or Z, I'm I'm sort of filling in two fields to give the the objects that have been added to the scene a diagonal velocity that kind of seems random, I guess. Um, by playing with the values in linear velocity and plugging in different numbers to the three fields and playing the game, you'll see, you know, what direction they go off in and you can kind of make it work for your game. The last one down here at the bottom is also kind of important. You'll see a, a strange effect if you don't add this. Um, but the last uh, actuator says edit object and object. So that when this object receives the message, splode, okay, it will add those other four objects, mesh point zero zero one in this case, to the scene at uh, the specific velocities that are indicated. And then it will end itself, so it will disappear. Right? Um, another important piece here is the property over on the left. Okay? I'll try to zoom in on this as best I can. It, um, the game property ammo one has been added to this, right? Because the collision sensor is listening for a collision specifically from ammo one right and it's sending the message explode to you know sphere zero zero one which is then receiving that message right and then adding four objects to the scene and ending itself so that's how you create a, a simple explosion um, I'll go back again and if I hit P right let's go ahead and look through the camera I've got my camera set up here let's hit space boom there it goes all right um, so that's that. Um, you know, feel free to add different types of ammunition with different, you know, keyboard sensors that do all kinds of different things. I'll be interested to see what you come up with. So thank you for watching. I hope this one was helpful.